Welcome to the daily online newscast of the Ann Arbor News. I'm reporter Amanda Hammond, and today is Wednesday, November 28th. Video cameras seem to be nearly everywhere these days, including in the schools, but that's not sitting well with some. A group of students, parents, and the American Civil Liberties Union of Michigan are campaigning against the proposed installation of 53 security cameras in public areas of Ann Arbor's Pioneer High School. Superintendent Todd Roberts says the cameras are needed for security, while the Student Council and the ACLU say the cameras could violate students' privacy. The Ann Arbor School Board is expected to receive a recommended installation bid of $79,811.75 at a meeting tonight. The proposed camera system is the same one installed a year ago at Huron High School following a series of high-profile fights. In other news, the saga of four dismissed students at Belleville High School took a turn yesterday when a Wayne County judge ordered the Van Buren School District to either reconduct documented disciplinary hearings for the students or reinstate them. The boys' families sued the school district earlier this month when the students were banned for posting a series of photos on MySpace depicting themselves with what appeared to be guns and piles of cash. An Ann Arbor business executive has been charged with four counts of criminal sexual conduct after three accusers said he improperly touched them during a 12-year span dating back to 1995. Investigators said the accusers allege that Michael John Brooks, 46, met them while he volunteered for the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Washtenaw County. Brooks' attorney disputed the allegations and said at least one of the men previously accused Brooks of similar acts after he refused him money. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for December 11th. Also today, we'll bring you coverage of a recently released University of Michigan study which links violence in music, movies, video games, and television to criminal behavior. And our business writers will tell you how a Howell Couples 1935 furnace earned them a free, more energy efficient furnace. As always, check back throughout the day for more news and updates on these and other stories. You can find it at mlive.com forward slash Ann Arbor News and click on real-time updates. For the Ann Arbor News, I'm Amanda Hammond and this has been your daily news feed.